Parents and others in the community are now getting a close up look at the latest tool the Piedmont Triad's largest school system is using to keep your children safe. Central High School in High Point, Smith High School in Greensboro are now the first to use touchless scanners during their summer school sessions. And Fox 8's Daryl Matthews was there as parents walked through the scanners for the first time to see how they worked. Daryl, many say this could bring a lot of relief to the community during a really tense time for parents. Yeah, Katie, they already are saying that. And parents tell me who came out tonight that these scanners should have been placed months ago. One woman tried off camera just from the recent tragedies involving schools, but she's glad that the county school officials are doing something to keep these kids as safe as possible. Do what we need to do to keep our children safe. Adding another layer of security inside Guilford County Schools. Okay. I'm really concerned about our children and uh, I want them to be safe. I don't want them to be afraid to come to school, and I don't want the parents to be afraid to send them to school. These touchless security scanners could be added inside 19 high schools. They'd be located in high traffic areas and maintained by administrative officials at all times. People are shooting, shooting in schools, school, um, schools and churches, homes, etc. Those three things, should, those three places, should be, you know, should be the one of places you should feel safe, but unfortunately the world is changing. This move for extra security comes on the hills of the deadly school shooting in Uvalde, Texas. School leaders here at home say they want to stay one step ahead of any possible threat to keep your child safe. The scanners are meant to detect any item that could be used in an attack, like this simulated handgun or even a long-shaped umbrella. It's looking for a barrel shape, a slide shape, a receiver shape for a rifle. And that's what it's, it's focusing in on so that it can weed out the everyday items of keys and cell phones. Whether a person walks through the scanner in a group or by themselves, it's going to beep if it detects something. And capture a picture and a short video of the person. Parents got a chance to see the scanner in action for the first time Wednesday. They say it's something that's giving them a peace of mind. I feel more confident now that they can be safe in school. Before, we didn't know that we needed to worry about it. And... Now that we see that we need to worry about it, I want that to happen for the school. Here I would feel safe if I went to school here or worked here, had a child here, etc. And school officials tell me that these touchless security scanners will cost between $750,000 to a million dollars a year. Now, depending on the layout of the school, it would depend on how many scanners, where they'd go, and how many they'd get. Now, it is highly encouraged for community members and parents to go out to High Point High tomorrow between 4 to 6 to try these scanners out for yourself and ask questions. We're live in Greensboro. Daryl Matthews, Fox A News.